hi guys welcome back to house of hair uk hope everyone is safe and well if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell today we are doing an incredible transformation video on a lady who is suffering with crown hair loss and i want to show you how i created this look without doing a wig or a weave install instead i done an integrated hair system using a kinky straight four by four closure so the first thing that you're going to need you're going to need a net you're going to need needle and thread mini scissors and because we're going to use micro link beads you need to have the mini micro links that are four by four size the pliers and a latch hook rather than a loop tool So what I'm going to start off doing is laying the net or the base um, for the 4x4 closure. So we're going to put the net on the client's hair and then we're going to thread some of her hair through these little tiny incisions that I've made with the mini scissors. So I'm going to use the latch hook to grab little bits of the client's hair and I'm going to thread that through the little incisions that I've made and we're going to secure that with the 4mm micro beads. A lot of old school hair loss salons or more traditional hair loss salons will use glue to secure this down but because we're trying to protect her hair we're not going to use any glue any heat or any adhesive we're just going to use the four millimeter micro beads before we go more into detail about the video can i just ask anybody who wants to leave any kind of comments or anything about the video or about the technique that i'm doing i welcome all of your comments i love interaction on my instagram and on my youtube channel but can we just be mindful that this is an actual person whose hair that we are doing so can we make sure that your comments are going to be kind and constructive and not going to hurt anyone's feelings As you can see this is how it would look once i've put the actual crown bit in i probably should have gone a little bit lower because as you can see here on the left hand side of her head she's also got some thin in here so it would be really difficult for me to install any wefted tracks so we're going to do some la weave or braidless weave tracks in her hair also but we're going to actually add another bit of like lace or another net section here so that it can hold the weight of the track so you'll see that a little bit later So here is the 4x4 closure that I custom coloured. I literally just done a bleach bath to just lighten it up a little bit because her hair is more of a colour 2 rather than a 1B. So ideally she should have gone for a 5x5 or possibly even a 6x6 but this is all I had in stock in the kinky straight texture. But when she comes back maybe every 6 weeks I would advise that you have it removed, hair washed and blow dried and then have it reinstalled. We should change for a 5x5 closure or even a 6x6 closure rather than the 4x4 it's just a little bit too small for her area of hair loss so now i'm going to start by stitching the closure down to the net for those who have ever worked with kind of closures whether it's 4x4 6x6 whatever you know that sometimes if you just sew from one end all the way around you get this little bulky bit in the back so i'm going to start by stitching the left side then i'm going to put some tension on it and then start stitching the right side and then work my way around to the back so that the needles will meet together if that makes sense and by doing that i feel like i it, it lies more flat and there's no kind of bulkiness in the middle at the back of the closure
So after I've secured the closure to her hair or to the net, then I went on to put in some braidless weave or LA weave rows, whatever you want to call them. And most of them went on the actual net part that you can see here at the top, but one of them went partly on the net and then round onto her own hair. If you're going to install this on a client who has got hair thinning or hair loss all over her head, then you might just want to put the tracks of hair extensions only on the net so that it can hold the weight of the hair extensions and not put any tension on the natural hair. You also don't want to put the beads too tight to the client's scalp because you want to make sure that her scalp can breathe and that she's got flexibility from the start so she should be able to tie her hair up straight away. Sorry, another thing to remember is that when you are stitching the tracks to the client's hair, you want to make sure that they are any single tracks. You don't want to double or triple over your weft because the aim is to not put too much tension or have too much heavy hair extensions on the client's hair. So when you're stitching to the net, you might be able to double over your tracks, but when you're stitching to the client's hair alone, you definitely don't want to double or triple over your tracks. So I just lightly pressed out the kinky straight hair because we want to make sure that it looks like it's got a lot of volume. And then for the crown topper, I used a wax stick and this pink hot comb by a company or a lady called Papachichi Styles. You'll find her on Instagram. Her hot comb is incredible because it's got a temperature gauge and I noticed that a lot of hot combs don't, but that hot comb is incredible. And then I used the Babilis Pro hair straighteners just to lightly press out her hair. So because of the hair loss that she has around the hairline, I actually lightly sprayed it with some hairspray and then I added some Topix hair fiber in black. She probably could have done with dark brown. I think the black was a little bit too dark, but this just gives the illusion of having more volume in the hair. So as you can see here, this is her hair on kind of like a mini side part, which I thought looked really, really nice. And then I'll show you guys it again with a middle part. If your client has a very, very thin hairline and doesn't have any hair at the front, then they might have to have a very subtle or a more gentle gentle is that the right word I don't know they might have to have a little bit of a fringe at the front because she has hair at the front so she's able to kind of have this like scooped back look and you can't see the closure at the top but if your client's got really thin hair at the front and doesn't have this much hair then they won't have that as an option they're probably more likely going to have to have a fringe or a bang so here is a quick reminder of how her hair looked at the beginning. It was an amazing transformation. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And if you know anyone who could benefit from watching this video or from using our service, then please share with them and get them to get in contact with houseofhairuk.com.